everybody, uh, my name is Ilva and I wanted to come on here to talk about some simple vocal production techniques that I use to make my vocal arrangements more interesting. So let's just jump into it. So we're looking at the verse of a song that I made a couple of days ago and in this verse I'm using four different vocal production techniques that I wanted to talk about in particular. So let's just listen to it. Okay, cool. So what I had first was obviously just the lead vocal singing over the verse and I wanted to add some different elements to make the vocal performance evolve. So the first line is by itself here. So turn around. And the first thing I did was to add an ad lib here between the phrases uh, of the lead vocal. So here I just sang a phrase again, which is a more ad lib phrase. I have it here. Um, and what I first did was to put it through the same vocal chain as I have on the lead vocal just to keep the compression levels at the same level and to keep them sounding similar. And then I'm using the little Ultra Boy from Sound Toys, which uh, I love this plugin. It's really good for vocal manipulation production. So you can do a lot of different things with it. What I did right here is to change the to only change the formant down like four steps. So um, from here. Turn around to down here. Turn around. And what uh, the formant shift basically does is to make the vocal sound like uh, it was someone with a deeper voice or like a different vocal cords singing it. So you're giving it a new texture. Um, and then I just added some of the drive here from the Ultra Boy as well. Uh, the drive in Ultra Boy, I think it sounds super nice. So I used that to just give it some extra grit. Um, then I used the filter. This is just a one knob filter from Waves. I think it sounds pretty nice because it's also letting through some high frequencies. Uh, and then I used the plate just to push it even further back in the mix. And as you can see here, I'm also sending it 100% to the reverb and to two delays. So it's really like it's supposed to be super far in the background. So this is how that sounds like. So turn around. And then we move on to the second phrase here. And this is something that I hear a lot in a lot of different genres actually. But what they do is that they have the lead vocal uh, singing by itself and then on certain words or certain phrases they add a harmony. Um, or in my case, I didn't want to add a harmony, but I wanted to add a texture just to keep the vocal performance evolving. Um, so what I'm doing here is that I copied, I just copied, it's the same take, copied the same take down here to a different track. And then I, I'm using the Ultra Boy again, and I just form and shifted that as well, but even deeper. So it was... Walk away. And then I turned it down here. Away, that it is gone. And again, I have the same vocal chain as in the lead vocal before, also just to keep the compression levels the same. And uh, what I also did, which is really important here, is that I'm sending it 100% to Waves Doubler here. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I want the lead vocal to be in the center and I want the lead vocal to be here, always here. And everything else that I want to do, I want them to float around. So when I'm sending it to the doubler from Waves, what it's doing is pushing this phrase back here while maintaining the lead vocal here. Um, so it's really just adding a texture sitting behind the, vo uh, the lead vocal. And that sounds like this. Walk away, pretend that it is gone. Then I have the next phrase by itself again. Like if we would keep this texture going all the way, it wouldn't be special when it comes in. So this is why I have it only in certain places. Uh, and then for the next phrase, which is the last phrase of the verse, I wanted it to be uh, even more dramatic. And then I did two things. Um, the first thing I did was to add even another layer with the same vocal and I'm sending it through the vocal synth from Isotope which sounds very similar to a vocoder plugin so you can also do this with 
the Ableton vocoder or any other vocoder that you have. Um, I'm using Isotopes vocal synth because I think it sounds amazing. So what I'm doing is that I'm routing a MIDI track through to the vocal synth, which I have in MIDI mode, which means that it's going to be triggered by the MIDI that I sent and the MIDI that I sent is going to decide what notes the vocal synth is playing. And also just quick tip about this, like uh, it might be easy to just copy the chords from whatever pad instrument you have um, to see what it sounds like. But what I found is that if you actually replay the chords yourself, you might one change the chords in a different place that is more convenient or sounds nicer for the phrasing of the vocal and two you might even come up with new melodies that sounds nicer for the vocoder so it might be worth looking into um actually making a really conscious decision because it really makes a difference or it can really make a difference so i opened the vocal synth um on the default setting and then just did some minor tweaks to the sound but the important thing that i'm doing is that i'm using the built-in chorus in the synth and this is also to push the sound to push this one as well further back in the mix because i want as i said i want everything else to stay further back and i want the lead vocal to be here in the middle and um, last thing that i did quickly is that again as i was talking about adding harmonies or textures on certain phrases here i just wanted to emphasize the word waiting a little bit more so i recorded myself singing waiting, waiting uh, in a harmony uh, really high uh, twice and i panned them like this to the sides to also keep them off center and i also sent it through the doubler to push them even further back and for these as well i also have the just the same vocal chain as i do in the lead vocal so to recap the techniques i've used is to add an ad lib in between phrases to fill up space and the rest that i'm using the ultra boy and the vocal synth to add extra texture on some phrases and then i've added a harmony on one word um, to emphasize that word in particular and the finished result sounds like this That's it basically so thank you so much for watching this tutorial i hope you got something out of it uh, if you liked what you saw if you enjoyed this tutorial please come follow me on instagram my instagram handle is at ilvibr i put it here or something and uh, yeah thank you so much and uh, bye